One of the most common things you do in Excel is get a total of something. So here we have a column where we've sold items on certain dates and we can see how many units we sold each day. We have a total at the bottom and that just uses the sum function. If you want to put some conditions on the total, instead of using sum, you could use the sum ifs function. This is available in Excel 2007 and later versions. So in this cell, I'd like to see the total for a specific date range. I've put a starting date here and an ending date. So in this cell, I'm going to put in a sum ifs formula and it will look at the dates and then only total the units that are between the start and end date. So to start the formula, I'll click in this cell, type an equal sign and the sum ifs function and open bracket. So the first thing we have to put in is the sum range. So which cells do we want to add up if we meet the criteria? So we want to add these units sold. So put that in and put in a comma. The next thing is the criteria range. Which cells do we want to check to see if they meet the criteria that we've set? And that's the date cells. I'll select those, type a comma. The next thing is the first criteria. We want it to be based on this start date. We want any numbers that are for a date on or after this start date. So I'm going to put the operator in and the operator will be greater than or equal to and I have to put that inside quotes. So double quote greater than equal to double quote and I'm going to join that to a cell reference. So I'll put in an ampersand and then click on the start cell. So it's going to look for any items where the date is on or after that start date. Then we're going to have to put in our end date. So for the criteria range two, again, we want it to check those dates, type a comma. And the second criteria is this end date we want things that are on or before that. So again, the operator will go in double quotes and this will be less than equal to double quote and we'll join with the ampersand, click on the end date and close the bracket, press enter. So we can see that there were 494 units sold in this date range. To verify that quickly, we can manually select the dates in that date range. The first one within that date range is January 9th, going down to February 4th. When I look in the status bar, the sum is 494, which matches our total. So with some ifs, you can use multiple criteria to get a total. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.